double eagle. Do you like to spin? Pinwheels, fidget spinners, Beyblades, yo-yos, frisbees, toy tops, drones, dancers, amusement park rides, all of these use rotating motion for fun. In addition to being fun, spinning can also help things balance. Now that seems a little counterintuitive because when I spin, I feel off balance. But let's do an experiment with a top to see how this works. Can we balance it without spinning it? If you have a top at home, you can try this experiment too. Wait, what, if, what if I try really hard? What if I balance on my finger? I can't do it. If we spin it, suddenly it balances much better. I notice as this part wobbles, it moves over here and the wobble transfers to this side. So in the end, the motion pulls it towards the center to stay balanced. When it's not spinning, if it gets off balance, there's nothing to stop it from just falling over. Today we're going to make some spinners that will spin as they fall through the air. So you're going to need your stem packet and some scissors. If you don't have your stem packet, get some paper and scissors and also a paper clip. Turn to page four. It says paper spinners. Notice this page and the next page, page five, have some templates that we can cut out to make spinners. These two are going to be for our blimp spinners and these are for our rotocopter spinners. So for our blimp spinners, go ahead. It's okay. You can cut in this book. We're just going to cut these out. Now, with the things we're cutting today, solid lines like these mean to cut and dotted lines mean to fold. So if we see dotted lines, we're not going to cut on those lines. We're going to fold on them. Okay. So cutting on the lines. If you don't have a packet, you can just use a piece of paper and cut a long strip from it. Okay, but next we're going to need these slits. Notice this doesn't go all the way through. It just goes halfway through the paper. I'm going to line up my scissors really carefully because I don't want to cut too far. Just like that. And then on the other side, one of the slits comes down from the top. The other one goes up from the bottom. So once we have our two slits, we can bend the paper over and line up the slits and connect them to make this little fishy blimp thing. I think it will actually fall a little better if we put a little fold in it here, like that. And then when we drop it, it will spin. Now notice you have two of these in your packet and their slits are in slightly different places. That's so you can try them both and see which works better. This one has a very short fin here at the end. This one is going to have a longer fin. I want you to try them both, see which one works better. Next we have our rotocopter spinner. There's a lot of templates on here for you to make some big ones. I think the small ones might not work as well, but you can try those too. So remember, we're going to cut on the solid lines and fold on the dotted lines. I'm not going to cut on those dotted lines. First, we'll cut it out from the packet. Okay, I see some more solid lines. So I'm going to cut on the solid lines, but not the dotted lines. There's a solid line. Oh, this is another one where we need to make sure we don't cut too far. So I'm going to line up the tip of my scissors. That's as far as I want to cut like that. And then this one like that. Now to fold our rotocopter spinner, fold the A one backwards and fold the B one forwards. Okay. We can unfold them a bit so that we can fold in C and D. C and D are both going to go into the middle here. C and D. Now, we can't really see it because we folded it under, but there is a dotted line right here. We're going to fold up on where that dotted line is. Okay, now we can fold A and B back where they were. We want them to be parallel to the ground. And then when we drop our spinner, hmm, so notice that doesn't spin as well as it could, but what if we add a little bit of weight? In your stem packet, you have a paper clip. Go ahead and put your paper clip at the bottom of your spinner, and we'll try it again. 
So your assignment today is to answer the questions in your STEM packet on the two pages that are about spinners. Then I want you to try making your own spinner design. You can base it off one of these if you want, or if you have your own idea, try it out too. But if you use one of these, make something different. Maybe you want to make a different shape on these wings here. Maybe you want to make these fins a different size. Or maybe you want to make this really thin or really fat. Maybe you want to add more weight or try a different type of paper. Maybe you want to make a really big spinner and see if it works. Now try it. your wild and crazy spinner ideas and compare it to the original. See which one is better. If yours is not better, that's okay. You found something out that didn't work, which is also useful information. Sometimes in science, we have to try things that don't work to find out what does work. And when you test it, make sure you test it a few times so that you know what it usually does instead of just getting one random thing that it did one time. Try an experiment and then take a picture of it and share it with your class. Stay safe, have fun, and keep spinning.